I try any of the crazy stuff you see here on our channel, Mr. Original Concept Garage, as they are always performed on closed off streets. Uh, three hours later. Actually, what you all missed in the last episode. So, we're talking about how basically on this motor, how much money we're saving. I got I'm four and a half grand in this thing right now. If I was to buy all this, like already done and stuff, like at the labor cost and everything, it'd be over 12 grand with the labor, especially with labor. And that, that's basically everything with the bike, you know, so far. We got we got everything put it together. We still got to take the frame. We're going to clean the frame up and uh, Pepper here is going to do some welding. We got to stiffen the frame up. Do a little custom thing too. Yeah, put it on. We're going to tuck the wires. We're going to tuck the wires. We're going to take and uh, have it all powder coated stuff. We want the frame to be good and strong. We're going to smooth all the seams and tell all the gold tabs and stuff that it looks like we got it. Like I'll show you all for instance right here on the Junkyard Dog. Junkyard Dog is going to stay like Junkyard. You're going to be like, we're going to keep him like this. Re-bolts. Well, like you see the spots like this right here we're going to go ahead and finish them in and we're going to smooth it all out make it look like one big clean weld there one, two, one, three, i mean it's going to look it's going to look sexy i ain't going to lie it's going to look good junkyard dog well, you know he's my it's kind of like my this is one you know cars that's got rust and everything all over me i mean they call up uh, oh, resto mod yeah old oh, resto mod you know like this is kind of what this is you know this is i like this kind of look it's for a resto ruck yeah resto ruck there you go I mean, I got, you know, the, up front, it's got the titanium look to it, you know, plus, you know, the rough. This is this is like my Mad Max bike, you know, in a way. I, I grew up loving Mad Max, so, you know, it's, <laughs> it's the skulls and stuff, you know, when, you know, it's badass, you know. But, you know, this is just my beater bike. Just beat her up. Just beat her. I kind of like the rough look of it. I mean, y'all y'all may, we're going to make this bike super clean. This is going to be, you know, for a show, like, yeah, it was the first bike. We, hey, we, I think we did good, man. I think we did a damn good. Everybody tells me we, we need to do a good job. A lot, for sure, we, we learned a lot, a whole lot. A whole lot. It's no joke. We've done a lot of do's and don'ts, for sure. Yeah. I mean, this is the Tau Tau motor back here, but it's the Tau Tau transmission back here. But it's up, up top. It's got you know. Uh, Build case. Yeah. I mean, he's he's did a few a few things. <laughs> he took the head. We took the head off uh, Rocketta. Dude, cause this bike is no slouch. Yeah, I've hit 65 miles an hour and I'm 240 pounds. I ain't no little fella. I'm a big yeah, fella. No, it wasn't. I mean, I imagine if I got somebody light on this bike, you know, a lot lighter than me, you know. Well, it'll like, run 65 hour better with me on there. I know. I no kidding. Yeah, I mean, and that's at like eight grand, I think. So, but you know, you don't want to run eight, nine grand constantly. It's not good on them, but. And it's not good on any bike like, like these motors. But that's one. Th that's one reason we're taking this bike right here. This four valve's gonna be able to hit a lot more RPM. We got we're setting it up for a lot higher RPM. It's gonna be really. It's, this thing right here's gonna be able to cruise down the road now. Yeah, but I don't think we're gonna be able to run on stock gas. That's my. That's what I'm scared, dude. I, I don't. I, I want 93. I mean, I want it to be 93. I hope. Right. Well, probably the double the gaskets in, yeah. The they they said that if you want it low, you know, higher or lower compression, then double the gaskets. I mean, you shouldn't have bought double the gaskets. You should have bought flat tires. I didn't think about it, man. I really, I didn't. Yeah. I wasn't thinking when I bought it. It's good, yeah, it's, 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 it's my fault. It's going to be a race fuel. <sighs> That's going to be a little expensive to be trying to ride around and roll around race fuel. I think you're like 100 feet off there. You think so? Yeah, I think so. Dang, dude. How big of a dome is this thing? Well, I mean, well, we're gonna have to just double stuff then, dude. Cause, like I said, I, I don't, I really don't want to have to run a uh, race fuel through this thing constantly. Yeah. I want to just put 93. I, I use 93 no matter what, anyways. But nope, didn't ask him. I didn't have nobody to ask because uh, GY6 store guy don't talk to me no more. <laughs> hey, dude, for real, hey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. If I offended you or any way or anything, I, I mean, I'm I'm truly sorry. Uh, by the way, I'm not Brandon. I'm Ryan. We're two different people. 
Yeah. Yeah, I was by. I mean, we worked together, so we're partners and all this. So, but hey, thank you for uh, sending it to Ryan, though. We appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. He, he realized that that's why he sent it on that last that last package. Yeah, I mean, he put Brandon and Ryan on it because yeah, he knew he knew it was going on. Yeah, I'm just letting that let you know that like I mean, we're not trying to do you or anything. Like we really are two people. Like, yeah, yeah, we really are, and uh, we're we're doing this build together, you know. And uh, I mean, I I, I, I would just order parts. I wouldn't try to offend anybody. Either. Yeah, yeah. So we just we're just trying to get this build done. This yeah. build's bigger than us. It's gonna be you know it's for the military. You know, it's for our Brothers and sisters, you know, out there, our brothers and sisters out there are suffering from PTSD. Think about it is, I mean, a lot of people come home, I'm not playing, they come home and they're not right again. Nobody is. I mean, not from war, I mean, you're just. You're a different person. They, 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 they can't really, it's, it's, it's a lot on them, you know, even when they're still in service, you know, I mean, when you've had to take life and you've had life taken in, right in your own arms and hands, you know, when they die in your hands. It's hard to adapt. It really, it truly is. I mean, it's hard to turn that back off. Oh, oh God, yeah. And we want to do that. We want to, we want to make it. Like, we want to bring awareness, you know, to that stuff because this is for the families who lost their veteran in their life to, to you know, to suicide. You know, they, they they couldn't cope anymore and they just couldn't do it. We don't want to see that happen. We want to, we want to see them live. We want to see them have fully functional, healthy lives. Maybe riding bikes might, might be the thing that you know actually brings them, you know, back around to being. You know, a uh, normal person. I mean, exactly. When you ride a bike, it, you feel free. free. Yeah, free. It, it, it just it ups, it, you know, it uplifts your spirit. It, it makes you feel. I mean, like you don't have a worry in the world. Exactly. I mean, it, it, it does something. It's uh, it's really it's really good for stress. I mean. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, like it just helps the stress just melt away. I mean, like because when you're out there, you know, on the open road, just cruising along. I mean, you just you don't think about all the worries in your life. You just you just relax and just live in the moment i mean what if we can get a group session with bikes like that with these kind of bikes right here it'd be viable because it'd be cheaper yeah. and they can you know maybe the va can actually afford to buy some bikes you know and have these rides and have a therapist you know go riding with them you know and have some courses or something yeah of course to teach of course to teach them how to ride you know you don't have to have a driver's or a bike license at 50 60 and under yeah so i mean hey that would be viable right there too and they would feel free and they'd feel more open to talk maybe after riding for a little bit yeah. I think it would be great. I mean, I think we're onto something here, you know? Look, I, I, I'm a veteran myself, and I suffer from depression. And you know what? This is right here what I've gotten into. I, I'm not playing, guys. This is really important to me. Yeah, I, I bought a, a moped on a whim. I paid 200 bucks for it. And yep. I started riding mine, and then I convinced him to buy one, too. And, I mean, we, we like... I'm starting from there. The first time I ever seen one was Danville when I took you to Danville one time. We yeah. seen a ruckus. That was like years ago, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a custom ruck too. Though. Oh, I know it was a custom, but remember me telling you how I, I wanted one? I didn't even know what it was. I didn't either. Neither one of us did. I was like, wow, what is that thing? Because I mean, it was like, it was so like, chopped up and, you know, like, I think that he actually didn't even have a get motor on. Did he? He had like a. I thought he had a get motor. Yeah, it is a get. He was extended. He had extension kit on and stuff. I thought he had like one of those like mini trail like sticky motors. Oh no no, he had a get motor. But it was he 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 was dropped. His bike was dropped. Had an extension kit on it. Oh yeah, it was pimp, dude. I thought it was like a hit bike motor. No no no, it was a straight up. It was a get. I remember I remember the radiator stuff on it. I, I, um, I remember it wasn't very fast, but I mean, no, it, no. It, it looked cool as hell. I mean, I wanted to ride it some, but I'm going to ask him. I mean, dude was nice enough to let us look at it and stuff, yeah. you know. But I said, that's the bike I want one day. I remember, it, it was so low, low to the ground, he, he just leaned it over. And yeah, the, yeah, the, he the, did. The he was holding it up, remember? Yeah, yeah. Like the, 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 the foot pegs, they actually holding the bike. I mean, when I seen that bike, I think he had a Yoshimir on it, didn't he? It was a slip on it, yeah. Hey, yeah, but he had this the, the awesome. I mean, he was. I didn't even know what it was until I was looking at a magazine, like yeah, I didn't car magazine, started seeing these kind of bikes in them, like import, you know, import magazine and stuff. And uh, uh, what's that one? It's uh, import tuner, yeah, import tuner. And then they started coming out their own magazines. Like I was like, this is, my, this is the bike I want to have one of these days. And I said I was going to have one, that, and I see paper first, you know. And then like I said, he ended up getting a Zuma. He, he, he came across a Zuma, and. Uh, we rode a crap out. We rode a crap out of Zoom. I mean, I, I fell in love with the Mopads. And then he got his Rocketta. That thing is awesome. I love his Rocketta too. That thing's quick. That thing's got a lot of top end. Uh, <laughs> ain't kidding. It's got a lot. For the money I've got spent on it, it yeah, it's, 
I think I've got about maybe 300 bucks in a whole box here. Dang, it ain't bad. You can't, you can't beat that. I mean, Seriously. Maybe a little more than that now. But. It's like Junkyard Dog here. We got about $1,500 in this thing and all. No kidding. Like, that's everything. That you cannot beat that. Yeah, that's even buying the bike. We got a lot of the parts though, but I mean, you got a deal. You got a really good deal. Oh, yeah. I, I, I get 300 bucks for uh, the whole bike plus an, another look bike. Look at the difference now that we actually went there and actually. Like there was all cast uh, everywhere off these pit pieces right here. Like, I cleaned them all up, refiled them, and opened them up, and screwed I mean, them out. So that the oil will actually transfer from one side to the other, right. the other smoothly. I mean, it, it was it was, was going to be a lot harder for it to flow or anything. Yeah, the oil transition was not going to happen very well. No, right? Because, I mean, that was just cast. I mean, just. I mean, look, it's, it's all these are opened up to look like full size now. It might be rough. Oh, yeah, look at that one out there. That one's really opened up now. Heck yeah. You know, I think it was almost blocked off. You ain't kidding, dude. I can't believe really they had that much other cast on them. If you notice, I even took a smooth up all the cast on, on the bottom of it. Which we're probably going to be painting this motor anyways. That looked like, like it was broken, remember? Oh, no, yeah. Damn yeah, right. Huge dude. chunks of aluminum hanging off of it. But what color do you think we should paint this motor? Like, I think we should paint it different. Like, just black or like the outside of it? You know, what color do you think about green? Too? Green, yeah. We're going to go with green. We're going to have red, like, you know, uh, kind of like the Marine Corps flag. We're going to have the yellow and, and, uh, Red, you know, is our uh, green and gold. Those good together. That's what I'm saying, but not yellow, but gold. That's what I mean. Like we're gonna yeah. kind of do like the Marine Corps color there with the see green, red, and gold is like the Marine Corps colors. Wouldn't like a like a metallic gold. Oh, that would look good, would it? Actually, I've got some gold cast like a uh, clear coat that really would be badass. Like you could we, we could paint it green the motor block, and I've got some gold clear like like it's a it's called gold cast. No, oh, it's, 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 like a, you can see through it. Oh, through it. I bet that would be awesome, yeah. dude. It's, it's, That's hey guys, hey, let, let us know what you think about that. That's gonna look. Good. It would look so good. It's a gold paint, but like it's it, it's translucent. But like it's, it's it's a gold metal flake. Hell yeah, that, that would look good, dude. It's translucent, yeah. That would look awesome. That would look amazing, actually. I like to see it makes it move the house. Hell yeah, dude. That would actually be amazing. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I mean, definitely be different for sure. Hell yeah, it would be. Heat it back up again, or. May have to heat it back up because it ain't gonna be press as easy this time. You're way off anyway over here. Yeah. Oh shit, when you hold down the button. Nice, I'd let it warm up, yeah. You're gonna have to. I think hey something's coming. Yeah. Huh? That come out with it. Put that in the other side Oh, it's, it's okay. Okay. Because it, it's got one in both sides. Okay, cool. Uh, You're gonna heat it up some more, yep. Yeah. We'll be back in a little bit, folks. Are you tired of everyday normal tools? Well you come to the right place here at Mr. Ritual Concept Garage. We have the <laughs> tools around. Hey, look at, you see it's the picture right there. I ain't pulling your leg at all. It's booking brand. It's the Chinese premier brand that you almost don't know about. And they can be yours for two easy payments of $19.95. You saw them here first, folks. Come back now, you hear? It was fitting, it was fitting. Yep. This is, like I said, you don't want to tap these in because it can mess the bearings up. You really want to heat, you Just know. tap it on in. No, like tappy tappy tappy. No no tappy tappy. You don't want to tappy. Tappy. Remember what happened? What happened to him when he tapped the it on The price is wrong. <laughs> bitch. Yeah, I was say what happened to him when he just tapped, it, sent it on, just sent it home. Go home, ball. Go home. That's right. Bob showed him what, what, what that shit was all about. Price is wrong. <laughs> you got to ask people, Bob Barker. Eighty <laughs> year old man. Remember he like when he wakes up, he goes <laughs> yeah. and come up to his neck like <laughs> yeah. that's just. Where'd you look? What that guy, that fat boy, say when he that, that truck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what we doing on this bike? <laughs> <laughs>